I know Dr. Saharia last uh, 25 years, since Medwin days onwards. And uh, he has served this state nearly 30 years, but recognized by his home state and recommended him for Padma Sri Award. And after seeing his bio data first time I have seen, there are so many of his credentials like University first, biology first, university, and so many things which we never know. He always a very simple man. I never saw him so far in last 30 years getting, uh, you know, the temperament changes. And compared to me. <laughs> always cool, calm and uh, many institutions he started kidney transplant. I think when I met with uh, OS Reddy, the Genetics Institute of Genetics, he started in Mahavir, in Osmania, even in Nellore in Bolineni, 10 years back and even so many other states, not only state of Andhra Pradesh, even in Kahuti we went and we saw so many transplants he does. Even the government has, uh, because of his uh, credentials, he wants to start a good hospital in Gauti. And we saw then in his uh, place where he is doing a free immunization, free OP whenever he goes there. Apart from that, he is trying to mobilize in the society. Even in, he was, we were in Mahavir, he was trying to pledge the entire personality, entire population before, after death, they should be able to donate the organs, the governor, the chief minister at the time on the dais they signed. Even here, he tried to create it, the late Akinen Nageshara came here and tried to motivate the <coughs> donor families, cadaveric donor, donor families, he created that. And so many of these things he created awareness in the public. And I think he has done more than uh, 5,000 kidney transplants. Some are saying it's only 3,000. I think more than 5,000 since he started his first cadaver transplant. And he's pioneer in the transplant. When the government would have been changed the little legality, he would have done more than 20,000 transplants by this time because of the legal issues. He could not be able to do more and more unrelated donors. And not only that, he is the one who has done maximum number of kidney transplants uh, in the Mahavir hospital, which is a trust hospital, so that at a low cost, he could be able to do the kidney transplants. At that time, even 1 lakh, 2 lakhs is also 20, 25 years is a big money. So that type of charity, that type of things that he wants to do for the public to create an awareness. The government has recognized him to provide this award. Even here, we are still doing around 3 lakhs, 3 and a half lakhs of total kidney transplant as a package, even though we are doing around 7 lakhs. And even number of auricular patients we are doing. And so many other charitable things and the awareness in the public which can help for the people. So, few days back we were discussing about of all these Padma Sri awards last two weeks there is a lot of news but he is the most deserved person for this art in Padma Sri especially in the doctors community. Even though 20 doctors has been recommended by the state government of Andhra Pradesh, not a single person didn't get this. So this time I think they have taken very, very choosy for the persons who are really worth for this Padma Sri Awards. So out of that, that Sahari has got. And you all know that we have been started about 700 beds. So this will definitely improve our image of Kim's hospital <laughs> that in right, in right time 
even though we are saying that it is late but we got in right time for the right hospital so i congratulate him on behalf of all of us and definitely it is a great achievement for kims hospital even though he has performed in many other hospitals ultimately it has got to in kims so most of the papers on the day many people from the press and everywhere they were calling see even though he has done so many kidney transplants and all press people are asking who is dr sarveswaram i said no nobody is there in kims hospital <laughs> then i realized no somebody has got a padma sri and all so such a low profile personality has performed so many surgeries so many charities so much of the many hospitals he has provided the know how the technology the continuation of the performing of the kidney transplant so that made him to get this one so i pray with all these things uh, i pray for the almighty that he should able to give a very good long life and serve many more institutions recently i went to his uh, so sun's wedding sorry uh, i met all the people there there is so much of the government officials even though he spent little time in assam so much were came to that function the reception and then they were encouraging him for the state they want to do it so maybe he could not able to do it all these years that's why they recommended him for the padma sri so that at least they will contribute more and more for his hometown okay thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to talk in front of all of you